All right, ladies and gentlemen, game number two. I think you could say game number one was amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Uh, we are going to try something uh, pretty fundamentally different from what we did in the last one. I think we're going to go for Ice Storm at level one, and then we're going to build into the other build that we theory crafted over on the theory crafting video. Our anomaly this time, snow is accumulating on heroes, granting a 29 shield every 0.5 seconds stacking lasts until destroyed or until the snow stops. Uh, shattering throw, anyone? Shattering throw. Once again, this is all viewers. Thank you guys for joining me. Names are on the screen. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you supporting the stream and joining in on the games. Um, we do have a little bit of a mirror match happening here on the enemy team. The same Murden, same May, and Lucio from the last game. I actually think Lucio benefits May quite a lot with the speed boost. But we will see how this game goes. Last game, we were totally focused on the healing output that May could provide, and it was substantial, to say the very least. This time, we're going to focus a little bit more on lane clear and also on kind of wombo comboing our abilities together a little bit to try to maybe burst down someone on the enemy team. That being said, with the Lucio there giving a speed boost to everyone, the wombo combo nature of our setup is going to be a lot harder to pull off because the Blizzard does require that two second setup time before the impact of the ability actually goes off. Keep in mind, with this game, there's no matchmaking, there's nothing like that. We're simply playing for fun, trying out some stuff and seeing how it goes. This is on the PTR, may has not been released yet. Things are subject to change. And any other disclaimer I can think of that I think someone in the comments might potentially complain about. Mookie rotating down is going to be taken out. The enemy team's may not quite hitting the apex of that corner to chase me down. Let's go ahead and get out of that pretty quickly. My main fear with this setup is that we would run out of mana pretty fast. And as you can see, that is starting to be a real problem. Focusing on regen globes is likely going to be a thing that we must do in order to make this work. Although there are some talents that help out with that problem along the way. Number one being cold feet gives us mana back if we slide into our own blizzard with our icing ability, which is our E ability. Which hopefully we do a decent amount, you know, seems pretty important. Doesn't seem that bad. Um, our lane clear is, I would say acceptable. I wouldn't say amazing. Uh, we might be able to change up a talent at level 13 to make it even better. We'll see. I'm just going to keep rotating for region globes right now. Maybe we'll play this one a little bit more by ear than what I was expecting. Just based off of, you know, how the game feels at any given time. So bottom lane cleared out, pushed into the tower. The friendly team is ahead on XP. You love to see it. The first objective is going to be popping up in the middle. I have 60 seconds on my sippy cup, which is not ideal. I should have probably just gone back first and saved the sippy cup for this battle. But I didn't. So we're going to have to deal with that as this continues. If the enemy team pushes in through this choke point, we should actually have a pretty good advance on that. Let's see what our monster killing capabilities are. Hmm. Mm, that could have been better. That could have been better. Blizzard for the enemy may is out. She's low on mana as well, though, going into this, so that's good. I'm going to push him back into our team. Beautiful. Uh, maybe I focus on getting this region globe really fast. Our auto attack damage is very, very low. Uh, we're very ability focused from what I can tell. I think we're going to pick up Blizzard reduces enemy damage dealt. Blizzard reduces the damage dealt by enemy heroes inside of the area by 40%. And if they're in for the final explosion, it adds another four seconds onto the end of that. Keep in mind, as someone pointed out during our theory crafting video, that there is a stun, a 1.5 second stun at the end of Blizzard. So if someone is in the end of that, they are going to be stunned for a portion of that time. So four seconds may seem like a long time. Honestly, it is. It is a long time. Because if they're stunned, they're dealing no damage. It's just good. Okay. I'm going to keep soaking. Keep our XP lead as best I can. Um, 
Let's grab this globe. Mana back up to full after getting region globes from the boss or uh, from the objective. Not that bad at all. The enemy may getting taken down during the objective. Main camera material, Jim Laner pushes the top lane. Main camera material, Jim Laner takes down the enemy team's infant fish monster. The shield is kind of nice from the anomaly. I actually didn't know this anomaly was in the game at all. This was all a surprise to me. The stealth from the last one and this. Chat, what other anomalies are there? I didn't look at the patch notes at all. He went over it. Can we kill Pufferfish? I don't I think we'd have to spam some abilities on Pufferfish to make that work. Thunderstorm that gives a lightning shield. Oh, shit. Rain that gives a movement speed and some damage. It's interesting. I think we're going to go Avalanche again. Just out of the two heroic abilities, this is the one that gravitated toward me the most. I really liked it, so we're going to keep using it. Uh, we cannot disable towers this time. That's not bad. Getting the, the warrior minions mostly dead is, is pretty decent lane clear. Uh, the enemy team did pick up a kill on main camera material. Jim Laner was somehow overcome in the top lane. They found him. They found his hiding spot, and it was in the middle of the lane. And it's not bad. The more I use these abilities, the more the lane clear seems certainly passable. I don't think we're going to be double soaking lanes like Azul or anything. I mean, we're a tank. We probably shouldn't be doing that. Although Johanna kind of does it. But it's still not bad. Some people were asking earlier if I thought she could be a solo laner. She has a ton of sustain for the solo lane, but she doesn't necessarily have the pushing capabilities of being able to instantly clear out anything. And I certainly don't think I'll be taking any camps by myself anytime soon. Oh, so the anom... Oh! Oh! The weather effect isn't up all the time. Is that why my stealth wasn't working last time? It goes away? It's weird that there's no, like, timer for that, right? It just shows up every now and then? Murden moving up. Actually, don't think we trade super favorably here. He is going to jump out. We're holding on to our mana pretty well. The palm. I got you. No, I don't. They dodged it. This just in. They dodged it. <laughs> Lunar can't solo bruisers, everybody. Uh, the enemy team did pick up the avalanche as well and pushing us back into the clutches. That was a great avalanche. I'm going to try to make some space here. We do stun the enemy team's Li Ming. Good dodge, good dodge, good dodge. We're still alive, we're still playing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm trying to add some pressure here. We can go this way. We're chilling. <laughs> oh, that one wasn't even for the pun! Oh, this is, this character's gonna be good. <laughs> Uh, monster clear. Good. I mean, it's on a cooldown, but that gives you enough time to gather them all up. Ooh. Let's try Polar Vortex. No. Standing in Blizzard reduces cooldown. That's what we're going to do. So we can Blizzard more often. So we just put one down here. We stand in it. It cuts the cooldown in basically half. It deals that extra damage. And then we can do it again. Skating in. Unstoppable. All right. I'm going to go back and finish this off. I really like her kit. It's fun. It does. It is going to take some getting used to. There is quite a bit of setup with everything that she does, and you got to like prepare it or follow up with some CC or something. But just the baseline of her kit 
is really, really enjoyable. I think they did a really good job. So did the snow turn back on at nine minutes or how did that work? Is it like three minutes on, three minutes off? I'm just trying to get a feel for the shield. I mean, it's not like a crazy shield or anything. It's a lot of XP. All right, the Punisher is over the wall. We cannot disable towers in this game. However, we can throw this out on these minions here. Get the CDR. Um, I think I'd like to push this down still. I'm fine with it hitting me. That's totally okay. Although, did it change targets when I went in the ice block? I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to increase the damage of our ice. Oh, she jumped out of it. We're chilling, chilling, chilling. <laughs> I love that my normal phrase is now an ice pun. <laughs> Uh, let's try to push these guys back. Push them back again. That is a lot of control. That is a lot of control. Of course, it's 33%. I can't kill it. It's too strong. I just want to play some more. Is that okay? Is it okay? Let's, just, let's, let's go to another objective. I want to see how the rest of the build plays out. I want to see how the 20 feels, if I can. Uh, normally, like, I wasn't too crazy about a lot of the 20s here, but the big one kind of adds to the burst damage that we were going for. And I want to see how it feels. Also, taking this camp was super easy. Did Lunara help? I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my talents. That was super easy. Now, actually comboing characters like Li Ming feels impossible. And Lucio feels impossible. So the enemy team like drafted a pretty good comp for avoiding my burst damage. Uh oh. It's gonna be me! Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that's just fun. That's just, that's just good all wholesome fun right there. Oh, she teleported. Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay, running away. I'm running away. Nope, misplay. Misplay. Misplay happened. Oh, it's getting worse. No, 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 Okay. Wow, that was a lot of damage there, too. We're going to be back up in 39 seconds. The objective is up top. Uh, we are coming in on level 20, slowly but surely. Um, we are going to grab the upgrade that gives us 65 increased area and 200% increased damage on our Q. 200 would chat with 200% of 148. 100% would be like 74, right? So does it just double the damage? Oh my god, I just did math on the stream. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I don't think I did the math right. Okay. Objectives up top. Let's go. 296 would be 100%. Okay. I kind of want to see if I can get it. 
But none of the camps are ready. Oh, that one's ready. Let's see. Hey, look at okay. Me. I'm going to be late to the objective. 200% is three times more. One million. Thank you, chat. Oh, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Yay! We're still full health. I mean, it is snowing, so we were getting a little bit of, little little bit of shielding there. All right, I like it. I like it. The CDR helps out a lot. Flurry talent. It's really good. Jim Laner continues to push the top lane. Is there any particular character that the shield would be really good on? Maybe like a Vala? Because you have low base health and your lifesteal? So you, you would have a little bit more of a barrier while your... While your lifesteal is proccing? Murden says Garrosh. Chat says the Vikings. Murky, true, because again, low base health. Almost 500 damage on it. Okay, here's the play. Here's the play. <laughs> she still got out. <laughs> the big flank. <laughs> All right, that was fun. GG, boys. That? I've enjoyed both builds. I've enjoyed both. I'd be interested to see if there's any, like, tweaks to the numbers on any of this once she goes live. Uh, I thought the mana problems would be a little bit more prominent, but they really that they really weren't that bad. And I felt like I was kind of spamming out the W there at the end. I don't think I comboed the cold front enough. But like I said, they kind of had an enemy team that was really good at dodging that. Uh, I think if they had a bit more of a stationary team without a Lucio, we could have gotten a little bit more value out of the Wombo combo, but we did it once. We made it work one time. After uh, Lee Ming used her teleport, we were able to make it happen. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Uh, I didn't save my talents in the last video. I kind of fucked up, but we did. Ice Storm, Cold Front, Induce Hibernation, Avalanche, Flurry, Black Ice, and the big one. Cool. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.